Hello friends, and welcome to this ukulele strumming lesson for kids. First, let's pick out a ukulele. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, make him pay $50 every day. My mommy told me to pick this one. The songbird. Woohoo! This is called a songbird. Always a great choice. So as always, make sure your ukuleles are in tune. I like to use this little snark tuner here that clips on. You just want to make sure your ukulele doesn't sound like this. For this lesson, I'm going to be using a pick to strum. You can use your fingers if you want, do what works for you. But I have my pick here, and it's a thin pick. Let's just start by strumming a C major like this. Now let's switch to an A minor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, good. By the way, if you don't know these chords, C major and A minor, Check out my beginner series for children. I have six or seven videos there now that will explain how to play chords and how to do strumming and all of that. In this lesson, I assume that you already know some chords. But hey, I might throw a new one in, who knows. Now let's go to a G chord down here. One, two, three. F. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, good. I don't know what the weather is like where you live, but I live in Minnesota and it's still winter time here, but it actually feels like spring. It's been really, really warm this year and it's kind of nice for a change. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I'm an author. I have written several books for the ukulele, guitar, and piano over the last 12 years. And today we're gonna learn a song from this book, Casey's Ukulele Method for Kids. And if you wanna get even better at the ukulele, you can get this book yourself right here on my Shopify page. So we're gonna play a song from the book that I wrote called The Basics. And it's basically just like a strumming jam or a strumming drill to get better at strumming. And we're gonna play a C major chord. So let's get your C major ready. The strumming pattern is gonna change throughout. Just watch me for the cues. Very nice job. Does your finger hurt? Do you have a line in it? If so, that means you're doing a great job. 
So yeah, that song's from my book, and there are many other songs in there just like that, where you can play along with jam tracks, and I have video demonstrations on my website as well to help you learn. And now a word from my friend Casey. Hello everyone, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks dudes! Thanks Casey! By the way, my name is actually Kelly, a lot of people get confused and think my name is Casey, but Casey is the character in my books. He's the lovable, fun character that loves music. And I've also created an animated series for guitar, and you can find that here as well. So if you're interested in guitar, or if you have another family member that wants to learn, or a friend, you can just let them know, hey, uh, Casey can teach you. I want to make an animated series for the ukulele as well, but those animated videos take me about a month per video to make. So for about a four minute video, it takes me about a month to make it. So it's a lot of work and I enjoy doing it, but um, sometimes I have to focus my time on other things. All right, since we're working on our chords and strumming, let's learn a new chord today. It's called E7 and it sounds like this. It's kind of a doozy because it takes three fingers to play it like G. To play E7, you're gonna play the top string first fret right here with your pointer finger, or index finger, all right? And then on the next string down, you're gonna play the second fret. So they're like diagonal from each other. So you have one, two. And then on the next string down from that, we skip it. That'll be open, so we're not pressing there. And then on the bottom string, we also play the second fret with our ring finger like this. So we have one, two, skip this string, two down here. And I kind of turn my hand out like this to get these notes to sound um, by using the tips of my fingers. Turning your wrist out like this will really help you to use your fingertips on this chord. So this chord sounds really good if you play A minor and E7 back and forth like this. If you dare. All right, friends, thanks for watching today. I really appreciate you guys, and I love all the support that I'm getting here on YouTube. So I just want to say thank you for uh, using my videos for your learning, and thank you for learning. Have a good day.